Hey, family, I pray all is well with you and yours. Day number 29, Coach Locke in my book, Day by Day. Let's get to it, y'all. Today's day uh, really means a lot to me, and it's simply not in control. Um, when I lost my mother-in-law, it really affected me in so many ways. Not because I hadn't experienced loss, but but with how it happened, right? So let me explain. I, I lost my dad at age 11. Um, I lost both my my uh, my grandparents in my 30s. Um, I lost my mother's mom as well in my late 30s. Uh, my wife and I even lost a child, right? She miscarried. But with my mother-in-law, um, to be at the Wisconsin Dales water park with her and climbing stairs, going down slides in the water, in the pool, hanging out, having a good time to come back um, that Sunday morning to church. And she's praising God in the aisle, just giving God her best praise. And then on that Monday, right, the next day, that Monday, coming off an amazing weekend um, to find her, have transitioned and gone home to be with the Lord, passed away. Um, it, it was like it was the wow factor. Right. Um, to this day, it still is a real sensitive um, topic, you know, with, within our family. But it allowed me to realize I'm not in control. Right. Not in control. So it's important for you to realize the only thing that you can control um, is the choices that you make. I challenge you, right? Make good choices. Make wise choices. If you don't know Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, I challenge you to get to know him. I'm not pushing my beliefs off on anybody, right? All of my clients as a life, a certified life coach, um, they all know um, that Jesus Christ is my Lord and Savior. I live according to the word of God. That's what works for me. But I challenge you that if your life is all over the place, man, and you don't know Jesus, get to know him. Because the reality is you're not in control. I love you. Ain't nothing you can do about it. Obey God. He'll bless you real good. I'll see you tomorrow.